What's going on, family? Welcome back to another Real Talk with your boy, JT. I pray everybody is doing well and having a wonderful, blessed day as we off top. Give the most high Yahuwah all the honor, the glory, and all praise and worship. Thank you, Father, for another blessed day. Well, you see my title. I don't want to see the new Emmett Till movie. Um, this is the video response back to you, Mr. Curtis. Um, I love your email. Uh, you've been, you know, watching the things I've said for years about civil rights movement. Uh, these movies they keep putting out, they redoing these movies. Um, let me tell you something, brother. I don't need a reminder of what have happened. And I, I hope I don't sound like I'm saying this the wrong way. This is just my feelings toward this, my opinion. Um, when you look at this world system, they're going to always keep coming out with racial stuff to make money off of. And the number one reason why I believe they do this stuff too is to keep us in bondage and to remind us, keep reminding us of uh, what happened to our ancestors and stuff like this. Um, just like the movie Roots, I don't want to see another movie Roots. I don't want to see Mississippi burning. I don't care about them remaking these movies and, and Tia, when you coming out with this movie Tia, man, do you know how many black people going to get more and more mad? Um, I'm not going to waste a dime on seeing that. Um, and I mean this out of love. That man was only 14 years old. You know, the way they did him, words can't even explain how sick that was, what they done to Emmett Till. Now you want to make a movie of it. They already made the movie and and oh, it's gonna be a bestseller. It's gonna be good. Everybody need to watch this for what? What do I need to watch that for? It's bad enough, and I mean this out of love. It's bad enough with the color of my skin, the, the hard time I've had in life, just being who I am, what I am. I don't like to use the term black, but I'm using it in this video. We are not black people. You know, black is a color, not a race. I know y'all get tired of me saying that. That's that's what that's what my culture of people pretty much accepted, but not all of us. A lot of us are waking up, you know, just like I don't even like to use the term white people, but not to jump off of that. Um, they're going to keep coming out with these movies, just like they had their movie 12 Years of a Slave. I mean, they make money off of it. And racism, I've been saying this for years. One thing I've been teaching people Racism, the penitentiary, religion, war, when you break it all down, it's all a form of money making, stereotyping. Racism ain't never left. And it's sad that some people hate you because the color of your skin that you had nothing to do with. But how many more times you gonna come out with these movies? And you want you want my approval or JT, you gonna watch this? No. I care less for watching this stuff. I watch my people all the time murder each other. See it all the time. Grew up watching it. Black on black crime. That's why I don't give a damn about Black Lives Matter. And I mean this out of love. That whole agenda of who sponsored that? What it's all about and what they doing ain't got nothing to do with me and I said in front of the whole world a million times if I had to. That's why I don't care for protesting and marching. That's why I don't care nothing for voting. All this stuff, it don't do us no good. And people get mad at me when I say this, but if you look at what's been going on, the civil rights movement, all this stuff been going on year after year after year, and, and we look at ourselves as people and ask ourselves, have we really... Have we really gotten to where we need to be as people? And I'm going to tell you why it will never get nowhere until you start in your own home. That's the problem. The biggest issue with my race of people, and I don't care who don't like it, the truth hurt. When you don't have your daddy in the home, the discipline, the raising, the upbringing, and this is why so many of my young brothers out here keep murdering each other. I'm telling you, man, when you, when you have a daddy in your life, life is a totally different upbringing than what you see going on. You got more and more mamas feminizing these boys. I ain't talking about all mothers. 
But once upon a time coming up, man, you had them grandmothers that were strong, them pawpaws that were strong. They didn't play all this feminine stuff that you got going on. When you take the man out of the house, that house is in trouble. It's hard for a black woman to raise a young black boy how to be a man. Can't. Y'all didn't, I'm, I'm not trying to sound angry, y'all. These are facts. Your most high did not bless you with the genes. Can you still be successful when they come out okay? Yes, that's a proven fact. But just think about it. If that man, the, the dad is in the house and play an impact on everything, that child got a better chance. But what happened? The government stepped in. Section 8 stepped in. WIC program stepped in. Food stamp stepped in. All they did was to replace the man. It's just like the making of a slave. I, I, I always tell my people, I challenge you. It may make you mad, but I guarantee you, read the making of a slave by Willie Lynch. I did a video on that probably 20 years ago. That meant that slave mentality. And see, don't it line up with what we still do to this day? Over 300 years now. Read the making of a slave. And my people get mad when I talk like this, but it's just the truth. I love you enough to tell you the truth. When there's no daddy in the house, see, it's more than just paying the bills. This is why, the, let, let me hit you with what the Bible say. What do the Bible say? Fathers, raise your children. The Most High already knew that. Raise your children. Then the Bible say, fathers, do not provoke your child to anger. The mother nurses the child, but the father supposed to raise that child, discipline the children, do what the Most High showed us to do as men, submit it to y'all first as men, as husbands, as daddies. I don't like to use the term father. The Bible teaches us not to call no man father, only the father y'all. But it's got to start with us. You can hold signs and protest and march all day, every day, and your results are going to still be the same. Another killing, another shootout. You can go call Jesse. You can go call Al Sharpton all you want, and the results are still going to be the same. How do I know this? Look at the results year after year. Politics involved in the church. That's why you got more political preachers than spiritual led by the Holy Spirit pastors. If people can get it in their mind, especially in my race of people, to understand that we do not suppose to try to get equal with this satanic system. Yes, I know it, it, it's terrible what we live in. It's terrible. But why are you still expecting justice when it's just us? Uh-oh. Mm. I'm going to say it again from my mama, JT. It ain't no justice, it's just us. Our justice is going to come from the Holy Spirit. Read Joel 3. You, you, you still waiting on the change to come in this world when the Bible never showed you this. Man, America is doomed. Why would I want justice from this? They going to get what they deserve. It's a place called a lake of fire. And all who went against the Most High, all the beasts, the false prophet, everybody who's wicked and want to roll with the devil, that's their future home. And I'm looking forward to that for them. That's why he say the Bible say he's the, the devil is wearing out the saints. I didn't even mean to go in all there, but yes, I did. <laughs> Truth hurt. And the more and more you look at these movies, you ain't going to do nothing but get mad. Look at when high I told y'all the uh, one live chat when High Your Learning came out with Omar Epps in it, and they shot Tyra Banks at the end of the movie. A fight broke out in the movie theater when when that came out. People was getting beat up. Black people started fighting white people. You still got your focus on the white man. White man, this white man that. This is a this is a this is a devil problem. This is. This is the wicked versus the righteous. And sin ain't got no color. No color. Sin is in every race. Human race. 
The devil jumps inside of teach Holy Spirit. It's these demons. See, I'm, I'm, I'm wise enough to know that the Bible tells us in Ephesians 6, chapter 11, verse 12, ch um, chapter 11, or chapter 12, when it says, for this battle is not against flesh and blood. It's against principalities, rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness in high places. This is why we can't defeat the devil on our own. Stop putting your focus on this system. They're going to keep programming and programming and programming. The hell with Black History Month. People get mad at me, but I just be speaking what's real. The hell with all this stuff. It was all designed from the get-go, a setup. Even back in King in them time, Martin Luther King in them time. Malcolm X said, the only freedom for my people is through death. That's why the Bible showed us in Revelation those souls that was under the altars crying. How long, Father, will it be before you redeem us? Punish those who did these things to us. That was in Revelations. In Revelation is past, present, and future. Crying out. And the Bible said what? Some more y'all are going to get killed. Hold on. A little, little while longer. See, these are things people don't like to really talk about. You, you, you better talk about the escape route with a pre-trial rapture versus the face what's really going on and what we living in. In this system. We in the world, but not of the world. This world hates us. Start reading your Bible. Pick up your word and understand that it don't matter how good you think you are in this world. This world would never love you and you would never get equal to this satanic system because it's designed for you not to be equal with. You're supposed to be, you're supposed to be looking at the most high system, which is what my brother P.P. John's been talking about and teaching on her for I don't know how long. And I just pray more and more of my people will wake up. Not just my people, but people in general. Whether you Jew, Hebrew, or Gentile, or whatever. Wake up to the truth so you'll know what's going on. And learn how to deal with what you're living in. So you'll know where we at, where we came from, and what's to come. And I'm gone on that. Shalom, family.